See how that raises alarm bells for me, you're about disingenuine, because you had no interest in that. Like, I don't have an agenda. I'm not staying here. I'm going home. Well, you don't know that yet. No, I'm going home by choice. I'm not staying here. Why are you going home? Because this sucks. Yet again, Ali and Khalid going head to head. It's like a clash of the titans. It's like an alpha clash. They're both very alpha. And to be fair, yet again, I feel like Khalid really won the argument or the discussion, whatever it was, because Ali didn't have control. And because she didn't have control at the end of the argument, she was like, yeah, I'm going to walk out. I'm going to leave. What? Girl, you're meant to be a psychiatrist. You're meant to be better than this. You're meant to understand people and their emotions. You have single-handedly put me off ever getting a therapist. And I probably need one. And I thought I'll have one, like, shot at a talk with Khaled before I make the decision. The conversation hasn't helped. It's just confirmed that I don't want to be here anymore. I'm not a psychologist, but if I was to take a guess, I'd say that Ali has a lot of control over everything in her ordinary life outside the house. And inside the house, she has zero control. And that's why she can't handle her emotions at the moment. I mean, I don't know, but that's my guess. It wasn't only Ali that wanted to leave last night. Days did as well. They both went in the diary room and said they're considering leaving. And to be honest, it's week two. I think it's really pathetic. And I don't understand from two very strong females. I mean, one ties herself to motorways and one's a psychiatrist. Surely big brothers are walking the park. <laughs> For you, Slot, especially. Do you know what? People don't understand just how hard it is in that house. Do you know what? I feel like I need a medal because I lasted three months and these lot want to walk after two weeks. Pfft, pathetic. I beg your pardon? Come on, Mr. Big Strong. I beg your pardon. Nobody loves I beg your pardon. Has Sarah defeated the lyrical cringe bag that is Marcello? Time will tell. But I feel like she's standing on strong ground with him. They had a face-to-face. -face. And who'd have known that they were so close and besties and like brothers and sisters? I mean, that wasn't in the edit, was it? But it turns out they are. But she stood up to him. He said something really crude and vile when he said that she smelt like a period. She was on her period. That, to me, is pushing your jokes too far. Do you know what he reminds me of? He reminds me of like a modern day carry on film. Your jokes are not okay. They're not acceptable. And it's really, really cringe. Show us your personality without having to be sexual. Oh, and now I know people nominated me that like, I'm just like, why did you nominate? Well, like, I know why you nominated me, but like, <laughs> Like, it's just annoying living in a house with people who nominate you, but that's the whole concept of the show. Lily still continues to be good entertainment. I mean, when she's happy, she's happy. And when she's sad, you know about it. She's just like a human emoji. And to be honest, I don't want to see her go on Friday. I said it before. I think she brings great entertainment to the house. She's like Marmite. Love her or hate her, she's great entertainment. I think he's hilarious. I think he's cool. I, he, I think he's... A legend. Yeah, yeah. But it's the loads it's of girls. Type. It's yeah, yeah. a bit. I'm not very good at that kind of stuff, so yeah. it's like a bit too much. Are we about to see the weirdest romance of all time? Who? Marcello and baked potato. <laughs> kind of rhymes. Marcello, baked potato. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. You have left Big Brother with no choice but to punish you. Until further notice, you will both reside in the garden in Big Brother's jail. These lot this year don't stop breaking the rules. It's two weeks in, guys. Get a grip. There's one rule, one rule. Why do you always keep breaking it? Last night we saw Lily and Martha get sent to the jail in the garden. And Lily is being defiant and saying, I don't care, I'm gonna carry on talking about, talking about, if I think someone's nominated me, then they've nominated me. 
Seriously, girl, you're just going to make enemies for yourself. Get the hot water taken off. It's just going to be a mess. Just stop doing it. Keep your mouth shut. Grow up.